everyone, it's Pete here from the Pain Toolkit. And today I'm with Dr. Tim Williams and we're doing another broadcast. Um, some handy tips really on uh, managing pain, etc. But um, a lot of people have been asking about questions to ask uh, Dr. Tim. So good morning to you, Dr. Tim. Good morning, Pete. How are you today? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Weather's not so good, but I'm feeling... I know, it's a bit of a sad old day out here in Essex as well. So let's go straight to the question, Tim. So... When people come to see you um, for an appointment, what can you give us some top tips on how we can best prepare for that appointment? Yeah, well, this is something I've been thinking about for a while, and um, in our in our surgery at the moment, um, I, I was thinking, what can we do uh, whilst people are sitting there for sometimes some considerable time um, in the waiting room ahead of their appointment, rather than reading some out of date car magazines um, or filling in a, a rubbish questionnaire uh, in a magazine which won't help them at all um, can we give them something to think about so so I came up with with five questions uh, and we've got them on the big TV screen that kind of rolls across so people can think about them and we've got them on some little sheets of paper um, and the five questions start with the first one which is um, what do I want to get out of my appointment today what do I want to talk about in my appointment today Question two is, if there was some more time, what mm -hmm. else would I like to talk about? The third question um, is, what have I already tried myself for this problem? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get the feeling that sometimes people are coming to the surgery without even having thought too much about doing something themselves already. So if they've got a problem with their health, the first port of call is 111 or the doctor's surgery. and mm -hmm. I know that people have really good ideas, and so it would be great if people could start with them. Hmm. Um, so question four then says, well look, thinking about it now, what more could I do? So whilst they sit sat there for 20 minutes, or sometimes a bit longer, um, thinking about it in that time, well what more could I do myself? Hmm. And then the fifth question is, um, how do I want my healthcare professional to support me? Because hmm. people often have really good ideas about what they want. And I suppose if you're up front with it and say, look, doctor so-and-so or nurse so-and-so, this is, this is what I think would be really helpful to me. Brilliant. So if a healthcare professional, you might think, well, I don't want to tell them their job. Well, we also don't want to try and second guess hmm. what it is that you're going to find most useful. Hmm. So just go through those again. So the first one is, what do I want to talk about? Second one is, if there's more time, what else would I like to talk about? Three is, um, what have I done already myself? Or what have I thought that would be useful already? What have I done? And the fourth one is, thinking about it now, what more could I do? And the fifth one is, how do I want my healthcare professional to support me? Tim, you know, I'll tell you what, Tim, they're fantastic tips. And uh, I wish I'd known them years ago uh, when I was struggling uh, with pain. But um, thanks very much for your, those five top tips. I hope viewers found them uh, useful and also healthcare professionals are, uh, that are looking in as well. Because, you know, it's not about just the patients, but also uh, healthcare professionals need some support. Those, I know these five top tips would help them as well. I'll see you again on another Pain Topic broadcast and another interview with Dr. Tim. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye.